Hi everyone. Sitting here crocheting a scarf and I was thinking about some things and I thought eh, while I crochet why not talk a little bit. So let's see if I actually can crochet and talk. Usually I'm not that coordinated but we shall see. This is a kind of mindless pattern. It's um just a wave I guess you could say. I do have to count a little bit, but not much. Um, you know, you do three, well, it's actually four double crochet. Then you do two sets of double crochet together. Then you do um, three more double crochet. Then you do two double crochet in the same stitch twice. So it's kind of a little bit of counting, but it's kind of mindless at the same time. Once you start a pattern when you're crocheting, I mean, I'm not saying you can't flub up because I just did and had to frog a couple rows because um, somehow I started getting too wide, which meant I was adding, whoops, there I go, which meant I was adding stitches like I just did there. Um, so you got to kind of watch that your sides stay even and down there it's a little functified it looks but it's really not I pulled on it and that's what happened so it's not it's fine it's not not stuck there so let me just do this here finish this row because I'm finding that I cannot talk and crochet but maybe I can hold it up and show you what I'm doing so now I'm on two double crochet together so you start a double crochet and then you don't pull it through. Then you go in the next stitch and you do the same. You only go through two loops. So you have three loops on your hook and then you pull over. Uh, I'm not trying to teach, so don't pay attention there. If I was actually teaching you how to double crochet two together, first of all, I'd have the camera closer. Second of all, my terminology would be better. Third of all, I would have a pattern that you could reference so you could follow along because that is actually how I taught myself. Um, crochet is not hard, however, for years I wanted to crochet and never could because I couldn't even get the simple, simple chain stitch. I'd get so far and then I'd sail it across the room, I'd be that ticked off. <laughs> I have no patience. But anyway, um, I can and I would happily teach you how to do your stitches. Um, I taught myself to crochet. This is going to be a really long scarf. I'm using, I love this yarn in the, I guess it's called camo. Where's my wrapper? Mm, I have a mess here again. Nothing new when I'm working. That's a sweet roll wrapper. Okay, so I'm not sure where my wrapper is, but it's, I love this yarn and clearly it's camo. I don't know if this is going to my mother, who's an army brat. Or if it's going to my husband for when he goes hunting, but it's going to someone. I'm also working on a scarf for a giveaway. And it's like a really lush, plush scarf. And um, I nutsed it up. I had to frog it. It's beautiful, though. It's going to be gorgeous. And I had to frog it, so that might be a while till I get it done. <laughs> So, I'll show you what else I'm making. This is Crystal Bag O' Day Crochet. I love her to death. Um, it's her pattern. Isn't that beautiful? It's going to be an ascot. It's going to be pretty long. And then it's going to like cross over your neck. And she has a, a flower that goes over top. But... This is, it's front, front post, back post, and the front post is easy. I could do it while I watch TV. I don't even really have, I mean, I have to look where my hook's going in, but um, I don't really have any trouble doing this. But when it comes to the back, for some reason, the back side of my stitches, it's harder to get in there. I don't know why I have the trouble. The front is easy peasy, and then you got the back, so... That's something I work on when I don't mind concentrating. And I kind of try and keep my hooks with my projects so I know 
which hook I had. So it's kind of mindless when I pick it back up. All right. Here's a blanket I'm working on. And if you, if you crochet, these are called whips, which means work in progress. And frog just means you undo your work. Like when I used to sew, when you rip stitches, we called that unsew. Um, I mean, I still sew. I just haven't sewed in a long time. But here's my blanket I'm working on. It's like the brick stitch. And then it's all different colors. And I think my next color is going to be a mustard. And then I'm going to go, I don't know, i got to look through my things. My yarn. I have some yarn coming. Lion Brand had their dollar bin and I got quite a few skeins at there. And I just called yesterday. I guess the demand was like insane. So they have, um, instead of your typical... like nine days they upped it to 14 days so I gotta wait on that and I have a blanket I finished I'll show you that I don't know why I wasn't prepared to do this I guess I didn't think I was gonna go through all this but I did use this brown on my blanket this is a Oops, I'm losing my yarn. Oh, geez. This is a... I actually like doing this. I have to look what the pattern was. Sorry for my back to you. Okay. This is a... Like, I guess you could call it a... It is a granny square. It's not a very big blanket, but it's perfect for, like, a baby gift or a throw for the back of a uh, chair or something. A lap blanket. But, I mean, this got really pretty. It's like a rose, uh, is that teal? No, that's like a mint and a cream. It's a decent sized blanket. I mean, it's nothing you could really cover up with, I want to say. But that's one thing about blankets. I love doing them, but unless you have like a ton of yarn, your blankets aren't going to be very big. And that's why I'm like doing that brick one I showed you and this one in all different colors so I can have it a decent, you know, without buying like 20 skeins of one color and I can have it a decent size that if people want to cover up with it, they can. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep or sell. We'll see. I don't know. I kind of make my stuff and I love it and I don't want to sell it. <laughs> I'm not so much into the selling of the blankets. Number one, they're a lot of work, which makes them expensive, in my opinion, because I'm not doing it for nothing. Um, I'm just not. They're a lot of work. And, you know, they're a lot of work. And then I love them, and unless it's a custom order, I don't want to give up my blankets. So, I usually give them to family, or I keep them. That's the way that works with my blankets. So, now I'll show you what I'm working on for my mom and her neighbor, our good friend Lori. I have to finish these. This is, let me get this right. Okay, I'm just going to bring my basket over. More whips in my repertoire. Okay. So this is, and I love mandala yarn. That's what this is, mandala. This is wood nymph. Focus, there we go. Mandala and wood nymph. And what I made here is a, oops, I'm pulling stitches out, I think. It's a, a Painted Canyon cardigan. Now, here's the hood. Here's the sweater. One sleeve is done. One sleeve needs added. And I'm in the middle of working on the pocket. So I have to finish the pocket on this. 
and, and I can't slip it on because it's attached to the yarn and that's just going to make a, a mess. So I have to finish both pockets and I have to finish the opposite sleeve. And then that's all done to be gifted. Oops. And then for my mom, that one's Lori's. For my mom, I have... She's on me about this too. This is another one I'm in the middle of the sleeve, I think. How in the world? It's attached to my blank or my back. There we go. Crazy. Okay. So this one is the, I forget which pattern this is. I'd have, actually have to look it up. It, it has a hood or not, but my mom did not want the hood. So I'm on finishing up the one sleeve of hers. Okay. And then hers is just the collar. She does not like hoods. So hers is like this, no hood, just a collar, okay? And then does she get, I think, no. This only has pockets if I add them on. So all I have to do is finish, I think, like four rows of this and add her other sleeve. And I'm probably not going to add buttons because mom doesn't button her. I don't either. And this is in Mandala Pixie. So that's another whip I'm working on. And then one more thing for my mom. I'll show you. It's not going to make any sense. But back when I first started doing Ara... I can't say it. Arag Aragumi Aragumi. Crochet bears, crochet characters, whatever. Aragu I can't say it. It's a tongue twister. You would think someone with a degree of intelligence could say that word, but it's a tongue twister. Trust me. Okay, so I am working on a monkey for her. So let's see what we got here. All I got to do is finish it. I should just get it done. Okay, so here is... Hmm. It's not a very big monkey. It's looking like I might be missing some parts. But I got to show you the hands and the feet. You're going to die. Okay, there's them. Yeah. I spilled it. I spilled it. So, I have to pick up the other parts. But I'm going to show you these because they're adorable. All right. These are the hands and feet. They have toes. They are so stinking cute. I just love them. And what happens is um, the body, like the, say this is the leg, okay? The leg goes on. You sew that on there after you stuff it. And there's the, of course, it'd be, it'd be fixed. It won't just be willy-nilly like that. And then that gets attached. As I repeat it 56 times in my other video, I joint all my limbs. So it'll be join it and it'll move. So that's another project I got to finish, which once I find those other pieces, that'll be nothing to finish. And then I see here, oh look, there's the pieces, more pieces. That's the foot. That must have been the hand I showed you because that's much bigger. So yeah, they're right here. They fell out of my basket. And then I have... A dog sweater I must finish. I must put the other arm on the sweater and this is done. I'll of course tie my ends in. I just had to pick out my other skinny yarn to match it. Okay. And then this is is this see, I should never do this because I forget what the heck. Oh, I know what that is. I always forget what pattern I'm doing. Like this blanket I started, and I don't have a clue what stitch that is. Off the top of my head, I don't. But it's, in, it's saved in my pattern things. And then here's another one I started. This is the Hugs and Kisses blanket, I think. And I know that because of the, the balls there, the puff stitch. So this is going to be a decent-sized blanket pretty long. 
So I have lots and lots of works in progress going, aka whips. Um, and I love to crochet. Sometimes I crochet nonstop. Other times I'll crochet a little bit and I'll put it down. Oh, and this is a hat I'm working on. I nutsed up the row, which is nothing, and I forgot I was working on this. This hat is really cute. But right here, I made this too tight, so it don't want to go over your head, but look at that hat. It's like a slouchy. I just got to rip these out and take it back up to here because this right here makes it too tight to go on the head. I mean, it's just too snug. So I just have to fix, like, right there where you see that banded. I just have to fix that, and what I'm going to do probably is rib it. I'm going to do it totally different. But isn't that beautiful? And that's made with a sweet roll. I love cake yarn. Cake yarn is my absolute favorite. It's like mindless, and it goes together so perfect. I mean, it's just gorgeous. So that's what I'm working on. Maybe I'll sit here and work on the monkey. I'm waiting on the insurance, or my surgeon's office to call back due to um, insurance approval. I actually talked to the insurance company this morning or this afternoon and it's not looking promising. Jem was on the phone and she might not call till tomorrow which is fine. So maybe and I was waiting to clean till I got a phone call from her. So maybe what I'll do is just finish up my mom's monkey. I was just thinking, should I clean? Should I finish up the monkey? Because I got a good probably two hours till the husband comes home. I can get all my cleaning done easily in that time. So all I got to do is dust and sweet vacuum mop. And I got it. And wipe my bathroom down. I don't know. I don't feel like getting up today. We'll see. Tomorrow's another day. Anyway, I just wanted to share with you some of my current projects that I'm working on. Sorry, I have yarn I'm pulling here. Um, and I wanted to offer, if, I mean, I'm no professional. I taught myself to crochet in November, so it's not quite a year. And I started a business. I mean, I picked it up. Once I, once I got it, I got it. And... Uh, my business, I'm sure you've seen me say before, is with Yarn and Hook. And uh, I could teach basic stitches. I can teach, I mean, I could teach projects. I can always ask a designer if they care if I crochet their item on camera for my followers or my friends that would like to learn how to crochet. Now, I do have a separate channel entitled with Yarn and Hook, a banner and everything that used to be my banner in this this one but I changed it because I it cut my gastric bypass kind of took over and my keto things kind of took over and I don't think I want two channels I think if I'm gonna you know do anything I'm just gonna keep it together because I have enough keeping up with one thing I'm I'm not that coordinated I guess you could say so Please, if anybody wants to learn how to crochet or do a crochet along with me or help each other get motivated for projects or any kind of thing, you know, any other craft too. I mean, I sew. I had a sewing business for a long time. I have my own pattern line I designed. Uh, if anybody is a sewer, maybe I'll do a pattern giveaway or offer a discount on, say, buy five, buy five three get one free pattern whatever I mean I designed um let me see I have an Etsy shop and I also have let me see Etsy should be bolts raggedy's PDFs that you could see my work but I did um a lot of rag dolls bears things like that okay so here's my shop activate later yeah okay It's Bolts, capital B-O-L-T-Z, Raggedies, capital R-A-G-G-E-D-I-E-S, PDFs, capital P, capital D, capital F, capital S. And I'll put the link in the 
for both my with yarn and hook Instagram and um, where you can see all my work that I've completed and I'll do my PDF thing if anybody's interested in patterns or anything by all means get a hold of me I would love to uh, I'm just looking at a little if you ever saw those um, photo prop crocheted items this is a little baby boy T-Rex dinosaur it's the little shoes with the little claws, and then the diaper cover has two. Looks more Stegosaurus than T Rex. I don't know of a T Rex that has spikes. Little spikes on the diaper, and then spikes on the hat, and then a bow tie. Oh my god, it's to die for. Ooh, excuse me. Absolutely adorable. Let's see, what does that sell for? 44 That's cheap, to be honest with you. So, yeah, I just wanted to share my crochet, and if I do a next video, I'm hoping to God my next video is telling you what's coming next with my revision. So please, if you have a hobby, crochet, sewing, painting, anything, uh, woodworking, absolutely please.